Next question is from Fody Joey. Can you define how a strong pelvic floor is important and ways to increase strength there? So the pelvic floor is important in, in all people for stability, stability of the spine. Um, but it becomes very important, especially in women uh, during uh, and post-pregnancy, to kind of keep some of the organs in place uh, and, and for things like bladder control, mm. help support the uterus, sphincter control. You hear, I remember uh, as an early trainer, I think I was 20 or 21, I did this small class with a, a group of women and I was having them do like jumping jacks oh, and yeah. jump lunges. And a couple of them were commenting that they didn't want to do them because they would pee themselves. And I remember mm -hmm. thinking, I, like, I never heard that Wait, before. Did this happen? Yeah, yeah. I, was, I was a kid. I had no idea. Right. Um, afterwards, the female trainer that I was with that was doing the class with me, I asked her about them. Like, why did, they, why did they say that? Were they trying to be funny? And she goes, oh, no, that's after you have kids, if you don't re-strengthen the pelvic floor, um, you start to lose some of that control, and then you can start to pee yourself if you jump and bounce. I had never heard of this yeah. before as a young trainer. So it's important for a lot of different reasons. The best, obviously, the most common exercises that we know of for pelvic floor strength are Kegels. Mm -hmm. This is where you you squeeze the muscles that you like, like you're gonna stop peeing. So the literally inside muscles. Yeah, so it's like you're you're holding, uh, like you're gonna hold your flow of urine. You want to squeeze that um, and then relax. I know now they make. Have you seen these these weighted vaginal dumbbells that they make? <laughs> no. Yeah, they actually have uh, these. Yeah, I've seen those. I'm gonna have to Google that. So there's a place in Santana Row that has like uh, I think it's called Beta. And they have all these like gadgets in there. Have you guys been there? No. So you walk through and they have all these like new gadgets that are. Do you guys remember Sharper Image? Yeah. Yes. It's kind of like that, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Except it's like even or more. Brook Stone. Yeah, it's way more techy. And they had this like silver like rod mm. with this like an like ball at the end of it and this okay. like app that you did. And I are asked. Are you sure this was for fitness? Yeah, I promise you. Okay. And I asked the, 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 the girl, I'm like, what is this? And the girl said, oh, that's, uh, this is a, a pelvic floor. Uh, exerciser, and I'm like, well, mm. I'm like, does, does this so you go just up? Cry, try and keep it from dropping. You put it up your body, and then you can add weight to it, and you hold it for time to strengthen pelvic floor muscle, which is actually brilliant. Yeah, if you think about it. So mm. Kegels and that. Yeah, Doug just <laughs> I see. Doug just Googled this, and it's so funny because Katrina has a sex toy that looks identical to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Only I can control it with my phone, which is yeah. awesome. Doug, uh, yeah. Doug just oh, Googled yeah. vaginal dumbbells. Yeah, I, I can't Emily. wait to see she what ads you get that. on, on so uh, I, Facebook. I, so almost anything though that forces you to sta stabilize your pelvis is going to yeah. work that. So I think uh, mm -hmm. you know, caustic squats, uh, floor bridges, lunges, Turkish get-ups, these are all things that I made Katrina do. So uh, whether that was exactly right or not, I don't know. But I, I sound felt, like a tyrant. Yeah. You yeah. make her do it. Well, <laughs> you know, when when we yeah. were, I shouldn't say it. Right. She asked me, right? So she asked me to write her a program when when she was when we were uh, trying to get pregnant, and then when she was pregnant, and a lot of the training was centered around stuff like this. Mm -hmm. And and that I, the way I look at it too is when she's getting ready to give birth, a lot of those muscles that you're contracting are, are what help push the baby down through the canal, right? So I think that that's something that we wanted to be strong for going into it and then also for the recovery purposes like you bring up afterwards. Yeah. Stability is a big one too um, to really help with core stability. If you have mm -hmm. weak pelvic floor muscles but strong other core muscles, you could still have uh, stability issues, low back problems. You'll see sometimes in women, they'll start to get low back issues uh, because these, these muscles are weak. Um, so yeah, so, uh, deep squats are great for this. But when you're at the bottom, do a Kegel. Yeah. So you can do a body weight squat, go to the bottom, maintain a Kegel the whole time, and that should help. Yeah, it's, really, it's a bracing, and it's, it's all the lumbo-pelvic hip complex in general. Like anything that exercise is going to work in that area, like that's all like post- uh, you know, pregnancy, like to, to, to reconnect with your core is like a crucial for you to move forward. So it's, but while you're doing it, it's important that you're doing it with that, con like the core, the, the bracing, yeah, aspect. the bracing yeah. and the core. So we would do, so I do this thing with Katrina where I had her lunge across the studio, right? So she'd do these real long strides. She'd come up to a balance when she'd balance, I'd have her tuck her pelvis. So mm. she'd squeeze her butt, tuck, stabilize, lunge again, stabilize, tuck. And mm. then, so she has all that core control and stability while also doing a deep lunge. Oh, cool. So maybe the little, you know, dumbbell inside and squat, mm. you know, make it a combo. <laughs>